Guys, this happened. As you see, I'm dripping sweat. Um, move, move, get back. We're about to uh, take on the the opportunity to learn, teach you guys quite a bit. The pups are in our possession now, and uh, that means the work has begun. We don't ever get less time; we get more time to be better. It's roughly 9:27. Marcus, I had a crazy workout today. <laughs> I did three of them boys in miles, to be clear, and uh, I said, you know. Getting the dogs into my routine is uh, very important. Getting them into a routine, super important. Getting them in my possession so we can move the needle forward. We're right at that four week mark. It's imperative. We're gonna use the potty power. We're gonna show you the, our process. We're gonna take care of these dogs and protect them. Now one's still having a little bit of trouble breathing. So we'll be managing that. Um, and then even more importantly, we'll be making sure that the dog stays alive and swell. So. Four, boy, four, four dogs are, uh, are, are alive, three girls, two bo one boy, uh, the, the silverback, <laughs> she's already spoken for, so it's not even a conversation we're going to have, but everybody else at this moment in time, i got to talk to one person, is available, so um, stay tuned, take care of your dogs, if there are things you want to know about Frenchies, we will definitely be educating you, you'll walk you through our processes, so much to unpack here, God, so much stuff pack people. Uh, what I am going to attempt to do is show you their first feeding tonight. And that's the point of this video. Converting them off the mother over the next 72 hours. And it gets a little stressful. They don't really have teeth. So I'm going to walk you through literally step by step what I would do if I was in your shoes and I didn't choose to use dog food. It's been a while since I've had to prep puppy food. Godly. This is probably one of the most annoying things on earth that I'm playing. I do think that it's interesting that these puppies can get so much from a mother. Think about that. These things go from looking like this. I mean, Ego was ugly. I have to show you a picture. That joker looked like a, a ratatouille. And then you look at him now, you say, well, that's a good looking dog. I like him at least. So um, I normally start off with quinoa, and then I enrich it with pumpkin. And then as their systems continue to form, I'll basically cook some beef liver or chicken liver, primary beef liver, and I'll drench it in that, and then you. I'm just gonna wait, people. <laughs> this could this could go south again. Let's see here. I'm waiting. We got 30 more seconds before I determine that thing is, is gonna cut off on us. Now, looking like it's gonna work, so I'm gonna leave it at that. Pumpkin is fibrous. Pumpkin has vitamin A. What's one of the most important vitamins a puppy needs? Vitamin A. Helps with the musculoskeletal system. Helps with boosting immunity. Why do you think they used to say an apple a day keep that doctor away? That being said, I uh, built the diets based on quinoa, which some people call it a superfood. There's no such thing as a superfood. They're just foods that are more complete than other foods. This is not a grain. It acts like a pseudo grain. If you leave it in water, if you watch our videos, it will not puff up. I don't care if you do it for 24 hours, we did it. Quinoa will not absorb water, it has to be cooked. Which is why I like it, it is a seed in the middle. Also has all the amino acids. So what do I do? We've got protein now, and we've got the uh, pumpkin for the vitamin A and the fiber. The dogs are coming off of milk. What is milk? Carbohydrate. So instead of rushing them into protein, I build their ability to uh, process the protein. Not saying that others haven't done it and wolves don't just go right from eating pumpkin or eating the mom's milk to eating real food. The point is, is I like my process. I like seeing them grow. I like making sure that the immunity is properly built. So that's what we're gonna focus on. This is the first batch. What I love about quinoa as well, it also can be served cold. Once the dogs get accustomed to them, I'll put some water in there, warm water sometimes, or just water in general to hydrate it and meaning just make sure the dogs are getting enough water in their food and the pups they'll eat it but the sweetness and I'll drop a little salt on it as well will get them ahead good 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 so to sleep right now they're probably not, not going to eat right now but going to mix this up and uh, kind of go from there so stay tuned keep taking care of your dogs I will show you what it's like to get them to convert to eating this versus the mom's milk Look 
put him in the boat. Because as soon as you start figuring out, this is where we eat. Start consuming this good stuff. Low and steady wins the race. It's about a two, in my opinion, experience. Two to three day time frame in which you convert them over. And they start realizing, okay, this is the good stuff right here. I felt their little teeth coming in. They're gonna get a little messy. But they're gonna continue to get inquisitive. Make sure you run myself up. These dogs don't want cold for you. They say you said have one ninny milk. <laughs> 